Hey there, starlings. Welcome to my sector of the universe. This is Jess from Capella Wellness here to help you step into your truth and start into your power. For those of you who've never ventured to my sector of the universe before, welcome, welcome, welcome. For those of you who are returning, thank you so much for rejoining me for another weekly reading. Okay, I do have one announcement. I am offering 25% off on all my services from now until May 31st to celebrate Mother's Day and all the mothers out there and to celebrate my son's birthday. You can go to www.capellawellness.com or click on the link in the description box below. Again, I'm offering 25% off for all my services. So if you would like a personal reading, head on over to my website and go ahead and use the code MAY25. May 252, not 252, I'm sorry, May 25 as your discount code when you check out, okay? With that being said, let's get into the reading. Hey there, Virgo. Welcome to your weekly reading. We're going to get right into it. I hope you guys had a nice weekend. We're going to look into your overall energies for the coming week. All right which is April 26th to May 2nd. Again, time is fluid, so if you catch this video and it's not that time frame, now is the time for you to receive these messages, okay? Spirit Guides, Angels, Galactic Family, Pleiadian Syrians, please reveal to me for my highest good and Virgo's highest good. What are their overall energies for this week? Please and thank you. Thank you for your wisdom, your guidance, your support, and your clarity. Do you want to take all these? Yes. All right. We have three cards for you guys. All right, Virgo, we have Ace of Raphael, which is the Ace of Cups. A positive new emotional experience, fulfilling romantic relationships, deep and lasting spiritual insights. Five of Michael, five of swords. This situation doesn't serve you. Release your attachment to the outcome. Consider taking a more uplifting approach. Four of Raphael, which is the four of cups. Seek out other possibilities. Look for the magic in life. Be aware of your own emotions. Bottom of the deck, four of wands, four of Gabriel time for a celebration abundant rewards for hard work release yourself from burdensome situations okay let's start with the ace of raphael ace of cups for your overall energies for this week something new is coming in this is a brand new beginning this could be a new beginning in love romance a new relationship is coming to you for others this pertains to you're finding something that's actually gratifying and emotionally fulfilling you have found your holy grail um you have found true love i'm getting for some of you you have found something after working so hard to find it and you've done the work, you've gone through your journey, Virgo, that this new beginning is coming in. Whether it's a new relationship, this is for some of you, for others of you, you found some sort of job, some sort of opportunity, something that brings you pure bliss, okay? This is my pure bliss card. This is it. Whatever you guys were looking for, this is it. Um, also, you are probably getting a whole bunch of information from the divine, more so from an emotional standpoint I'm getting for some of you. That's going to be very rewarding and fulfilling. Like the divine love is pouring in to you. Um, this is green. I'm also getting that your heart chakra is completely open and you are emanating, emanating this unconditional love to others, to the world, and your cup is running over, right? And you're completely happy, joyful, blissful. Whatever this new opportunity that's coming in, this new beginning for you, it's really going to be emotionally gratifying and fulfilling. Like there's this sense of renewal and rejuvenation in your life 
Now with these other two cards, with the five of Michael and the four of Raphael, it looks like for you, Virgo, you have to release something that doesn't serve you in order for this new beginning to come in. Something might be lingering inside of you and you're not sure if um, true love is for you or you're going to have this complete bliss or fulfillment. Um, it looks like that for some of you, maybe there was some betrayal in the past. Somebody said some negative things to you. Somebody did you wrong. There was a conflict here. Um, that what they want you to do is to put love into the situation. They want you to give the situation um, a lot more compassion I'm getting, okay? So whatever this is for you with the Five of Swords, there's a lesson to be learned here I'm getting. And whatever happened in the past, whatever this was, whatever conflict this was, let it go. You have to release the old in order for the new to come in, okay? Four of Cups. Yes, you were probably disappointed, disillusioned from that betrayal, from that conflict, whatever happened in the past. Don't focus on those three shells because look, Archangel Michael is coming back right behind you. You got to turn around because the Ace of Cups is in his hands okay he's got the ace the angels are helping you through this so don't focus on the past don't look at these down cups here oh man you know i missed out or i couldn't find love and it's not going to happen for me look for the magic in this situation okay even though you may have been portrayed before somebody you know, was sneaky, they did something behind your back, they weren't being nice, they weren't reciprocating your feelings, whatever this is for you. The Ace is right behind you. The Ace of Cups is right there, and it's right there, right? The Ace of Cups is here for your overall energy. So they don't want you to focus on this disappointment, this dis disillusionment, or the feeling of betrayal or regret for something, okay? Because the ace is coming in, this new beginning is coming in. It's going to change a lot of things for you, but they want you to remove yourself from these lower vibrational energies of the four of cups and the five of swords, okay? We will clarify these later. I'm gonna put the ace of Raphael in the front. And again, with the four of wands at the bottom of the deck. It's time to celebrate, guys hard work, right? You've done something and now emotional fulfillment is going to come in. That bliss is going to come in. Whether, ah, I'm actually getting for some of you, if some of you are on the twin flame journey, you've done the work and you're unsure of whether, you know, this true love is going to come in. You've gone through the battles. You've gone through that journey. Now it's time to celebrate your successes. It's time to get your abundance. It also says release yourself from burdensome situations, which is what's talking about what the four of cups and the five of swords are talking about. Okay. You got to release that because this is trying to come in. It'll be coming in as long as you don't stay in those lower vibrational energies. Okay. There's cause for celebration here. Um, oh man, for some of you. Okay. If you are being invited to a wedding, I'm getting this all of a sudden you're going to find your partner, your soulmate, your twin flame, whoever it is, who is going to be your true love. I got that all of a sudden. So if you're being invited to a wedding, I would highly recommend that you go because you're going to find the love of your life there. And when you do, they don't want you to go back to the past thinking, oh man, you know, I've been, you know, sucker punched before. I've been betrayed. You know, I... It hasn't worked out for me, but Spirit is saying, take that opportunity. Don't let the past hold you back, okay? We are now going to see what you need to focus on. What does Taurus need to focus on? Please and thank you. Thank you for your wisdom, your guidance, your support, and your clarity.
change your life. A sudden revelation that offers freedom, break free of procrastination, embrace the opportunities that change brings. This is the tower. Wow. I think I said the Ace of Cups is going to change your life. I might have to rewind this later, but whatever it is that came out of my mouth, I think I said that. Yes, it'll bring you, this Ace of Cups is going to change your life. It's going to bring you emotional fulfillment. This is not a bad tower. That's not what I'm getting here. But they want you to be prepared for this sudden change that is about to happen. Okay. Embrace the opportunities that change brings. Something here is going to happen. It's really going to change your world. It'll throw you off course, but you need to look at things from a bigger perspective. Look at the bigger picture. You need to see exactly why this is happening because it's supposed to bring in emotional fulfillment. You're going to have this epiphany, like a sudden revelation, and you're going to wake up and be like, oh, well, oh my gosh, this is bringing me my emotional fulfillment, and I wasn't expecting it, okay? So while this is a tower moment, don't get freaked out. For a few of you, this may be something that will happen that'll have you change course, that will kick your horse into high gear to get you to move, to get you to act on something towards your Ace of Cups. I'm getting that too. Take that house, it resonates. But if something happens this week or whenever you see this, um, if it's not the time frame I indicated, like I said, don't let it throw you off your horse, I'm getting, okay? Because this is necessary for um, you to either change something like getting you out of the Four of Cups energy, the Five of Swords energy, because something new is trying to come in. Breaking that old foundation of your old beliefs. I said something about that you were betrayed before in love. This is love for some of you. And you still have these program beliefs based on your past experiences. They want you to tear that foundation, that tower down, okay? Because something new is trying to come in. The bottom of the deck for this is the King of Gabriel, the King of Wands. Keep your eyes on the picture. Leave the details to others. Experience that leads to success. Genuine concern for others. So I was talking about King of Wands action. This guy takes action. He takes those risks. He looks at things from a bigger perspective, right? Keep your eyes on the bigger picture. When this tower moment occurs... It's going to change your life, but change your life for the better. There's success in this tower moment I'm getting, okay? Like I said, this isn't a bad tower moment. We will clarify this, but just know that this is coming in for your own betterment. Like I said before, this tower moment may be coming in to push you towards your ultimate fulfillment, your bliss. And you're just not necessarily seeing it because you're kind of stuck in the past and you're you're afraid of what's going to ensue next because of all the betrayal and the disappointment that you've gone through. They don't want you to think about that. They want you to be in the king of wands energy where you see things from a higher perspective. You are a visionary leader. You know that whatever is coming in, as long as you trust that it's going to be for your betterment. The divine has tower moments happen in our lives for our own good. We learn lessons. They want us to stop our karmic patterns. They want us to stop our cyclic habits, you know, things that no longer serve us. That's what tower moments are really there for. Yes, they can be sudden and it's shocking, but sometimes tower moments, it's a surprise. This Ace of Cups may be surprising to you. And when it comes in, they want you to go for it. Be fearless. Have the courage and the ambition and the strength to go after your full bliss, your wish fulfillment, your true love, whatever this is. Okay. We're now going to see 
what you need to avoid for this week. What does Virgo need to avoid for this week? We're going to take the one that flipped over. The star. A dream come true. Believe in yourself. The end of a difficult situation. Okay. Oh, they want me to show you the bottom of the deck. Eight of Gabriel, Eight of Wands, a great deal of activity, sudden and immediate results, important communication. All right, so Virgo, what you need to avoid. This is interesting because, you know, the star, it's a major arcana. It's a very positive card. But what I'm getting from here is you're not believing in this Ace of Cups opportunity. You're not believing that true love can come to you. You're not believing that your wishes are going to come true because of what's happened in the past. But you need to maintain your hope and your faith because this star is also rejuvenation and renewal, which is what the Ace of Cups is as well. You need to avoid having these scattered energies and these scattered thoughts, thinking that, you know, with everything that's ensued in your life, that it's not going to happen. But it is. On top of that, when this Tower moment comes in, it actually is going to bring rejuvenation and healing, a great amount of healing, okay? This is also, I am also getting that there's some communication that's coming in for some of you, and it's going to throw you off like that tower moment, and you're not really gonna believe it, but what they're saying is that you're destined for whatever this tower moment is bringing you whatever it's going to bring you the ace of cups which is your ultimate fulfillment your bliss your happiness a new beginning that's emotionally fulfilling for some of you it's a new beginning in love a true companionship okay but what they're also saying with this is don't be overly hopeful there's some sense of wishfulness in this where you may be too much up in the clouds I'm getting all of a sudden. Because when this Ace of Cups comes in and you're going to be so flabbergasted by it and so um, enamored and so surprised by it that you will forget where you are, all the hard work that you have done to find this love, to find this emotionally fulfilling new beginning. They don't want you to be too lovey-dovey, I'm getting. This is interesting, okay, from this card, all right? Stay the course. Continue following your true north. The star here, the eight-pointed star, all right? So don't get too caught up in everything that's going on and with this communication that might be coming in for some of you. Stay grounded, I'm getting all right, Virgo. So we're going to clarify. Change your life. The Tower card. Spirit guides, angels, galactic family, played in series. Please reveal to me for my highest good and Virgo's highest good. Why is the Tower here? Please and thank you. Thank you for your wisdom, your guidance, your support, and your clarity. Spirit guides, angels, collective family, played in Syrians, please reveal to me for my highest good and Virgo's highest good. Why is the tower here? Why is the change of life card here? All right, yeah. Ten of swords, guys. It's the end of a painful situation. It's the end of a chapter. For some of you, this is, <clears throat> okay, for some of you, this is a divorce, all right? Tower 
and Ten of Swords usually is divorce. Take it as it resonates. It may not be for you, but for some of you watching this, for some Virgos here, this is a divorce. Now, I did say that this is not necessarily a bad tower, but again, change your perspective. Look at the bigger picture, right? I talked about this. If this is a divorce for you, this is necessary to happen to get you to your Ace of Cups, to find your true love. This happened to me. I was married for 10 years and I was the one who filed. It wasn't fulfilling to me anymore. I just stuck it out and I stuck it out and I was just, I was not happy for a long time, okay? There were other reasons involved in this, but um, we both weren't on the same page and I had to make that difficult decision. And I had uh, my child, was very small then and a lot of people thought I was doing the wrong thing so on and so forth which is what a lot of people do but you have to do what's necessary for you okay Virgo if you're not in the middle of a divorce or this hasn't happened yet this hasn't happened yet it's coming but it's necessary I don't like to be the bearer of bad news however we have to go through the dark in order to see the light right it's part of life but what I will tell you is that my divorce brought me something absolutely incredible. It brought me my Ace of Cups and I couldn't be any happier. So I'm spirits having me tell you part of my story because there is hope here. Okay. There is hope. That's probably why the Five of Swords and the Four of Cups came out because you, you're disappointed. You're bored. You're unhappy. There's been conflict. There have been arguments in your marriage if this is a marriage for you. But this is coming in. If it's not a divorce, this is ending something that's been painful for you. Whatever this is, if this is not a divorce and not this is not an unhappy marriage, this is happening for you because it wants to bring you your ace of cups, okay? My situation ended up in the ace of cups and usually when you trust the divine and you are hopeful, and you're not overly, you're not wishing so much that things would just go away. You have to take the action on your own to end this pain, to end this heartbreak and this sorrow, the disappointment, the unhappiness, the betrayal, the conflict, the fighting. It's up to you. If you are not happy, you got to get out. And I'm thinking that that's why the tower moment is coming in because now if some of you have been stagnant and haven't been following your heart, they're coming in. Divine is coming in to knock you off your ass. To get you going like the King of Wands. To get you to your Ace of Cups. To what you are destined for. For your true happiness. Your true love. Your bliss. Okay? So don't be freaked out by this combination here. Alright? Look. Bottom of the deck is strength. You need to maintain your strength in this. This also tells me that you are going to grow stronger through this situation just like I did. I didn't have confidence or courage or strength when at the beginning during my marriage. And when I finally left, I learned a lot and I am way more confident than I've ever been. Okay. I'm way more ambitious. I have way more courage than I've ever had. And I go in there like the king of wands. I go after what I want. I take those risks and because I, I know I'm going to be successful. You guys, Virgo, you're going to be successful. Okay? Everything is going to work out for you. Have strength and courage. This is Leo. You may be dealing with a Leo. Okay? See that infinity symbol? You have what it takes. You have unlimited potential. So don't think the situation is going to break you. It's going to weaken you because you are stronger than what you think you are. Okay, Virgo. We're now going to clarify the star card. Why is the star card in the void in the avoid position for Virgo? Please and thank you. Huh. I think I said something about procrastination, not doing anything. This is a procrastination, Seven of Cups. I think said, I said for some of you, the tower's coming in because the divine's trying to knock you on your ass so you can get going to head towards your 
wish fulfillment, your ace of cups, your emotional fulfillment. Okay. Yeah, I was talking about being too much up in the clouds to what did I say? <laughs> With the star wishfulness, wishing that this would go away. Yes. Okay. Thank you, spirit. You guys are too caught up in the illusions. You're too, there's clouded judgment here. You're up in your head about this. You're not sure which decision to make when deep down inside, you know what you need to do. If you're not happy, all these cups are not going to make it any better. You have to go after what your heart tells you. You're confused about what course of action you need to take, but you innately know what it is. You have to trust your gut, even if it's hard to do, but you have to get out of this painful situation, okay? You're dreaming, you're wishing, you're hoping that this would just end on its own, but what the, what Spirit is telling me, you guys have to do it on your own. You have to initiate this because if you don't, the divine is going to come in and do it for you, okay? You have free will. I'm only guiding you as to what Spirit is telling me for you guys to do, but it is your choice Spirit is saying, avoid making the wrong choice. I just got that very loud and clear and big neon blinking letters. <laughs> avoid making the wrong choice, Virgo. Okay. Don't be up in your head. This is wishful thinking. Okay. Don't think that this is going to magically just stop. Spirit is telling you it's up to you. If you want this to end, you need to take the course of action and end this painful situation, okay? They want you to get your Ace of Cups. Look what's at the bottom of the deck, Two of Pentacles. Yeah, you're, you can't make that decision. They don't want you to make the wrong decision. That's what I was seeing. Don't go back and forth. Some of you are like, should I do this? Should I end this marriage? Should I stop this really unfulfilling job? There's so much chaos and conflict here. I'm unhappy here. I'm bored. I hate this job. This job freaking sucks. This marriage sucks. All of it sucks. It's up to you to get out of the suckiness. <laughs> okay, Virgo? No more suckiness here, okay? This is up to you. Stop going back and forth and make that decision because like I said, the divine is going to do it for you. Okay? It's time for you to move, Virgo. You know what it is to do. And I told you, while this is going to be hard, it was hard for me with my situation that I guys that I just told you about. But it was necessary because God had something way better for me and it happened. And it just keeps getting better because I'm trusting in myself, in my trusting my own intuition and listening to my heart. And when you do that and you are vibrationally aligned with what it is you want and with that divine light, all these wonderful things come to you. Okay, Virgo. So now we're going to get guidance from the fairies. Spirit guides, angels, galactic family, Pleiadian Syrians, please reveal to us for our highest good, especially for Virgo's highest good. What guidance do you have from the fairies? Spirit guides and angels, please and thank you. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is crazy. They said, take the ones that flipped. Okay. All right. We'll start. We got three cards. We'll go with the first one. Express your individuality. Allow your true self to shine because you're awesome. See, trust your heart. You, okay, I'm getting for a lot of you, whether this is an unfulfilling job, unfulfilling marriage, you are not able to be yourself. You feel like you have to be somebody else for someone else, for something else. This is why Tower is going to happen if it hasn't happened already. 
you need to be yourself. You need to be true to who you are because whatever situation you're in is not fulfilling. They're trying to give you the Ace of Cups, like I keep saying. You have to be true to yourself, okay? Be true to who you are. You don't have to stay in, stuck in this situation because what I'm getting very strongly is that you haven't been able to be yourself for the longest time, Virgo. It's time to go. Like I said, it's time to go. Spiritual teacher. Your life purpose involves teaching others about healing and spirituality. Yeah, so for some of you, this is what they're calling you to do. This, Okay, for some of you, you're already starting to dabble into this about being a spiritual advisor, a spiritual teacher, helping people heal from their situations. That is partly why you're going through your tower moment if you haven't gone through it already, Virgo. Because your experiences are going to teach others and people are going to resonate with you. They're going to be like, wow, this person went through this and look what their life has become. That's exactly, this is crazy. That's exactly, and I have a lot of Virgo in my chart. I have a stellium in Virgo in my chart in the second house. So that's why my divorce happened. Why my tower moment happened. Why I had to get out of there because they wanted me to do this because ever since as I ever since I was a kid I had this ability to help people and heal them. Yes, since I was a kid. It's crazy. For a lot of you, this is what you're being called to do. This is going to bring you emotional fulfillment. This is who you are for a lot of you, okay? Or whether it's not spiritual, it's teaching somebody something. You want to teach, you want to lead, and you have that ability. Like I said, you have unlimited potential. You have the ability to do whatever it is that your heart is telling you to do. You need to follow it because this, whatever this is, whether it's an actual spiritual teacher or not, some other profession, this is what's going to bring you your ultimate fulfillment, your holy grail, okay? And you are going to teach others based off your experiences because people are going to need you, all right? You may not think so, but I really believe that we all have a particular collective that is drawn to us and whom we are supposed to help, okay? Lastly, whom do you need to forgive yourself? As you release old anger or resentment, you will find that your wishes will come, wishes will come true. See, let go. Let go of the judgments of the hurt, the past, the betrayal, the, the anger, the disappointment, the unhappiness. What they're telling me here is, Virgo, you need to forgive yourself first. Because, okay, this is all coming full circle. Because you've made wrong choices in the past. And you are disappointed in the fact that you kept going through that cycle. That's why the tower is coming in. It's happened to me. You knew what the choice was, but you didn't trust your intuition. And you kept finding yourself in the same unfulfilling jobs, the same unfulfilling relationships. Forgive yourself, okay? It's okay. I had to learn that too because it was part of my life's journey. I wouldn't be here if I wouldn't have gone through all that crap. The same goes for you, Virgo. So just release all the lower vibrational energies and forgive the people who wronged you as well, okay? I'm getting that too. It doesn't mean you have to forget. You just need to forgive all of those individuals, okay? It's important. This is part of your healing. A lot of us have to learn how to forgive ourselves and each other. You don't have to worry about all that hurt anymore. Like again, the 10 of swords, that's painful. Like it killed you. Whatever this is killed you, but you have to forgive that. Forgive your spouse, forgive, you know, the boss, the coworkers, whomever this is, whatever this is for you. This will lead you to your healing. But they want you to end this difficult situation. Okay? It is up to you. But at the, at the same time, you have to learn to forgive. You have to release that to the universe. Just let it go. And as I say that, the bottom of the deck is let go. As you surrender, the need to control your relaxed energy rapidly attracts your desires. Yep. 
release all that it doesn't serve you and that's when the ace of cups comes in that's what they're trying to give you release that you will feel so whole and rejuvenated once you leave that painful marriage, that unfulfilling marriage, that unfulfilling job. The relationship doesn't even have to be a marriage. It could be a toxic relationship. The tower, there's toxicity there. Release yourself. It's time to let go and let God. Let the universe help you. The angels are coming in with that ace. Okay, surrender. Stop trying to think that something will just magically happen. But you have to do the work first. You do your part, you walk away, and then you just leave it to the universe. You leave it to God. And it says, it'll rapidly attract your desires. I'm telling you, it changes so fast and everything starts working out in your favor as soon as you let all of that bullshit go. Okay, Virgo, now we're going to see what the full moon in Scorpio is bringing you guys this week. Spirit guides, angels, galactic family, Palladian, Syrians, please reveal to me for my highest good and Virgo's highest good. What is the full moon in Scorpio bringing Virgo? this week why do i feel like the full moon and virgo card is coming <laughs> spirit guides angels galactic family plating syrians please reveal to me for my highest good and virgo's highest good what is this full moon in scorpio bringing for my lovely virgos what is the full moon in Scorpio, bringing for Virgo this week. Even if it's not the full moon in Scorpio, maybe it's a full moon coming up at the time you watch this. Look at this blue moon. Believe in the impossible, Virgo. You can do this. While you think it might be impossible, nothing is impossible if you involve God, the universe, whatever higher power you believe in, source. Anything is possible through the work of God, the universe, source, spirit. This is very important for you guys to take away from this reading, okay? You have to believe and trust that everything is going to be fine. You may think you can't get out of the situation, but you can. You got to make the right choice. Avoid making the wrong choices now, Virgo. This is time for you to move. It's time for you to make the right choice and believe in yourself and do what is right for you. Because as I said before, your Ace of Cups will come as soon as you leave the situation. You let go and let God, like I said. Communication is keys at the bottom of the deck, new moon and Gemini. You may be dealing with the Gemini too. Um, but mainly, this is as you need to communicate. I said you need to take action. It's time for you to speak up for yourself. Say no more. Okay? No more. Communication is key. There could also be, with whatever situation this is, um, there's been a lot of fighting with you know a lot of harsh words being said you got to remove yourself from the situation okay and you need to speak up and you need to do what is right for yourself okay virgo all right so lastly i am going to have you guys think of a question okay this card doesn't belong here think of a question I'll give you a few minutes, not a few minutes, a few seconds. While I'm shuffling, meditate on the question you want to ask because your answer will be asked by the um, angel answers deck, okay? Spirit guides, angels, collective family, Palladian Syrians. What answer do you have for Virgo's question? 
please and thank you. Thank you for your wisdom, your guidance, your support, and your clarity. Here it is. No, with an exclamation mark. If you guys don't already know, this deck has a no without it. This is spirit telling you, take a step back. Stop what it is that you're doing. This has to end, like I was saying. They're saying, no, Virgo. You don't have to take this anymore. It's time for you to go. It's time for you to move. It's time for things to change. Because something better is waiting for you on the horizon. You see that sun there? The sun is coming up over the mountains. And you're over here asking the angels for help. Ask your angels for help. But you also have to take the necessary steps to start moving in the right direction. Because look, the sun is there. Abundance is there. A new beginning is there. Okay? No more of this bullshit, this nonsense. No more pain and suffering. It's time for you to go. It's time for you to go, Virgo. Too much burdens, too much stress, like in your last reading, I believe. If you watched my last reading from last week, right? It's going to kill you. I had said that. It could possibly actually kill you if you don't leave because it's too much for you to bear. It's time to go. Time to heal. Time to move on to bigger and better things because spirit, the universe, has something way better for you. And look what's at the bottom of the deck. Big happy changes. See? Big happy changes will come from this. The Ace of Cups, your ultimate fulfillment. Whether it's going after that spiritual teaching job, whatever job it is you want to fulfill, something better is on the horizon. You just have to get out of your situation, okay? Changes are coming for you as soon as you make that move. All right, Virgo, that concludes your weekly reading. Thank you so very much for being here and for illuminating that thumbs up icon. I would greatly appreciate it. I wish you the best today and always. I send you so, so much love and I hope I illuminated your well-being today. If you would like a personal reading, click on the description box below and I would be more than happy to help. Again, this is Jess from Capella Wellness, starting out.